Hello, hello. Welcome back to Art for the Absolute Beginner. This is the second part of an ongoing series meant to teach the basics of art to those who have absolutely no previous art experience. Uh, so last time we covered the basics of lines, edges, and shapes. And this time we are going to move forward. We're going to discuss shapes a little bit as well as forms and contours. So to basically just review, shapes are 2D images on the uh, canvas itself. It's just the basic building blocks of the composition and whatever it is you're going to be drawing. So right here we have three just basic shapes. They're, they're just these diamond shapes, different colors, nothing really fancy about them. You might, uh, I don't know, be reminded of those warning signs that they post around chemical labs or uh, chemical uh, storage facilities, things like that. But what if I told you that we could very simply go in and... <laughs> Wrong layer. What if I told you we could very simply go in and change these around and simply by altering the spatial relationships between these forms or between these shapes rather we can create something entirely new. I'm just going to rotate them here and boom. <laughs> um, so clearly what we have here is a cube. But look again. We're not we've just changed how they interact with each other. Here, I'll I'll make it even clearer. I'm going to move these shapes together to the right up almost but not quite touching you see see we can already even as badly aligned as these are right now we can already see that eventual cube shape starting to come together this is to illustrate the point that I want to get across in this initial part of this lesson is that when we take the right shapes and we put them together, we create a form. We can create all kinds of forms just by mixing up what shapes we're using and how they relate to each other. Now, very briefly, what is a form? Well, a form is a three-dimensional shape. For our shapes, we have squares, triangles, circles. For our fundamental forms, we have cubes, uh, spheres, and uh, pyramids. It's very basic, but from these you can go on to create really anything that you might observe in nature or think up out of your own head. These are the fundamental forms. So we take shapes and we combine them together in different orientations to create forms. But we're not actually creating forms because as I said a form is a three-dimensional object. What we are doing is we are crafting the illusion of three-dimensionality and we do that by making sure that the shapes we combine uh, conform to the realistic contours of a three-dimensional form. What do I mean by contour? Well, contour, very simply, is a imaginary line that runs down a three-dimensional object that follows the surface of that object. And let me show you what I mean. So we have here a sphere. Well, except it's not a sphere yet. Right now, it's just a circle. It's 
just wrong layer. It's just this. It's just a circle. Okay. But simply by adding a line like this, or like this, let's make that a little nicer there. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And follow the um, imaginary surface of a sphere and indicate that to a viewer. Now, how might this come across in a, in a piece that we actually, we're not trying to make a technical drawing here, we're not doing the straight contours, but how might this come about in uh, something we actually wanted to show to people? Well, we might just sort of imply the contour like this. Um, maybe we let's get a nice bright color here maybe we add some highlighting to show where the light is striking um, maybe we get a different tool here and we add a little shadow yeah yeah you starting to see starting to see what I'm getting at here we're, we're we're using different shapes to imply the characteristics about this uh, and we do that by following the contours and this can be applied to a lot of different things here let's let's just make up kind of a shape out of nothing okay let's uh gonna go with this kind of uh, maybe not that one. Go with this kind of bendy form here. I don't know, this kind of eggplant looking thing here. We're gonna. But maybe. See, we can follow the contour along here. Follow this contour here. And we might imply. That it pulls up there and we might come across and there we go we're really starting to imply form here the more of these little contour lines we add and with this example um, even though uh, I completely made it up off the top of my head you may notice that the contour we used is a very simple dotted line. A very simple form of implied line. And as you may remember from lesson one, uh, lines form the boundaries of shapes and where they meet our edges. What we've done here is we've taken a variety of different shapes and we've put them all together in different ways that we can then um, use to build a single unified form. So next time we're going to discuss the more subtle ways that we can add shapes to our piece that can um, imply three-dimensionality. And one of the most basic ways we're going to do that is through shading. So um, See you guys next time, and you guys have a great day.